Good evening, Carlos. Hello, how are you? Welcome. Thanks for joining. We are going to get started right now, okay? Thanks for being my early bird. And here we go. Let's hey, teacher, begin. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Nice to have you here. Okay, it is exactly the time to get started. Thank you so much. I'm going to start sharing my PPT while the others join, okay? Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, here we go. And let's see. Yeah. Okay, uh, today is September 20th, 2023. And we are going to get started with uh, our class. That's it is exactly the time. In our agenda for today, Carlos, we have the welcoming, what I did at the beginning. As every single day that we meet here, we're going to read the objectives. You are going to be writing simple present tense sentences as a follow up of what we did yesterday. Also, we're going to be building questions in simple present tense about your daily routine at work, practicing reading, completing sentences in simple present tense, and writing sentences using the given words. Because today is our class or our meeting, okay? Uh, the Zoom number 10, we're going to have a general feedback on the class, okay? On what we have been doing during the week. And then, as a reminder, because as I mentioned before, today is our class number 10. By midnight, you need to have covered section one, section two, and also the, um, the midterm test in the platform, okay? Because it is mandatory, it is an obligation for you to go over that at least with the 80% as an average. Okay, and then here we go over the requirements, your full name when you log in. In case that you are a listener, you have the word listener and camera on. You have to minimize the sound, microphone off, unless you are told not to do so. Active participation 100%, okay, in the breakout rooms and here as most of you usually do okay i am so glad for that and then in relation to the attendance let's just uh, recall that you are expected to be connected a hundred percent but if you have problems with your connectivity with the blackouts because of the heavy rain that we have been having these days at night in our country as soon as the internet or your power, the electricity comes back, you get back to the room, okay? We're going to be waiting for you. 100 minutes of connectivity is the expected attendance that you must have here. Like just to remind you that there are two uh, times in which I call your names to take your attendance at about, about 8.20 and at about 9.40. And remember that it is counted as valid when you open your microphone and you say here, present, presente, or I am here, okay? And camera on. And at the end, we have always, when we finish the class, the one-on-one -on -one session. One of you stays with me and then we uh, keep practicing for 10 minutes. And unfortunately, I am not authorized to give you Permission to skip classes, yeah? Uy, hold it. And here, this is the expectation, okay? Cameras on, microphone off, the two chats available via Zoom and WhatsApp as every day that we meet here in this virtual classroom. And when you are in the breakout room, so you have the ask for help button activated in case that I am monitoring another group you can call me. And as every single day, respect above all. That's general information that I share every day with you guys. And here, this is what I was telling you. 
Okay, today is September the 20th and we are here. The end of week number two. So you are expected to finish on the platform section one, section two, and the midterm test. That's okay. Then tomorrow we're going to start week number three. And very soon you're going to be in another level, okay? Upper level. As every day that we have been meeting here, class, I'm going to ask one of you to help me read the different objectives, the general objective, uh, the specific objective, and the class objective. I don't know why it doesn't appear here, the, the phrase, the specific objective, but that is, okay? So, one volunteer to help me reading the objectives for today. Miguel Angel Santos Cortez, thank you so much. I appreciate your participation. Thanks. Thank you. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Objectives, general objective. Participants will be able to uh, apply vocabulary to talk about every day, every day task using simple present. Participants will be able to describe a college routine at the workplace. Class objective. At the end on the class, participants will write a paragraph about the task their boss or a college does in their workplace. Okay, so here we go. And today you, as a follow up of what we did yesterday, you are going to describe a colleague's routine at the workplace and you are going to write about your boss or a colleague, what they do in their position at workplace, okay? So here we're going to write simple present sentences, okay? And let's see, what are you going to do? Listen to the instructions. Look at the information on the next slide and I need you class to write 10 original sentences using the simple present tense. You're going to describe your routine at home in five sentences. And in other five sentences, you are going to describe your routine at work. Okay, for example, this is just an example, but you feel free to write the five sentences according to the duties, obligations, or activities that you do at work. And the five activities as a regular person, okay? For example, I wake up at five o'clock. I take a shower at 5.15 a.m. I get dressed at 5.30 a.m. I have breakfast at 5.45 a.m. I brush my teeth at 5.00 55 a.m. or 5 to 6. It's up to you. If you notice from 1 to 5, I have described five activities that I do, my daily routine as, a, as an ordinary human being. Yeah? From 6 to 10, you may say, I go to work at 6 a.m. I get dressed, uh, I get to work at 7.30 a.m. I check in at 7.35 in the morning or 8 a.m. I check my email at 8 a.m. I answer the emails at 8.10, for example, okay? So five sentences for your daily routine every day. And from six to 10, the other five sentences, but associated to the activities that you do at work. Are the instructions clear? Yes? Hello? Somebody there? Uh, teacher, yes, teacher. You can repeat uh, the instruction. Ah, you recently joined. Okay. Yes. Okay, here. Because today is a uh, practice and review, yes? We're going to practice the simple present tense. So I am asking the class to write 10 sentences in simple present tense about you, okay? Original sentences. Five sentences 
about your routine, your simple routine. In the morning or at night, in five sentences related or associated to what you do at work, the activities that you do at work. I am showing these sentences, 10 sentences from number one to number five is about your daily routine in the morning, yes? Before you get to work. And from number six to number 10, the activities that you do at work. I wrote these examples, but you are going to write your original sentences according to your reality. Is that okay? Okay. okay. Okay, class, is clear? Is it clear? Yes, Hello? It's clear. Okay, so I'm going to give you a couple of minutes so you can write your routine. Five sentences, your common routine, and five sentences using the activities that you do at work. And later, we're going to continue with the second part of this activity, okay? Thanks for joining. And if you have any question, please feel free to ask me. Here we are. Thank you. Remember class, when you finish, you tell me, okay? So we can go over the next step, the next activity after this one. Remember to tell me when you finish, okay? Simple sentences for your daily routine from one to five and from six to 10. Routine that you do at work.
I finished, teacher. Okay, thank you so much for telling me. Someone else? I'm finished, teacher. Finished, teacher. Thank you, Miguel Angel and Guillermo. Okay, now we go over the second part of the activity. And it goes like this. You have uh, different companies and you work in different positions. So what we're going to do right now is I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms and you are going to share. You read your your sentences that describe your routine, okay, uh, at work and also your routine before or after work. And later, we're going to come back. Good evening to the ones who joined a little bit uh, late after eight. And right now, I'm going to share with you the invitation, okay, for the... um. For the breakout rooms and here we go let me see how many students in the platform okay so here and let me see three three Three, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, I'm going to share with you, class, the invitation so you can join the different breakout rooms and you share your information. Five minutes the most for the activity, okay? And when we come back, I'm going to call your names for the first attendance that I'm going to take. Okay, go to your groups. I sent you the invitation. Okay, go to your groups. Hello, Eduardo Flores. Uh, Susan, are you ready? Oh, she's a listener. Okay, Edward, what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer you to another group. Yes, so you can practice. Is that okay? Okay. Okay, here we go. Let me see another group that has people. Okay. I'm going to send you the invitation right now.
ejemplo. Ajá, yo de cualquier día de trabajo, ¿verdad? Porque Ajá. yo sí vi los ejemplos que tenía ahí ella. It's Ajá. in general, it's in general, ok, in general. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Porque yo, yo estaba haciéndolo de un lunes, ejemplo, I get at, at G20 a.m. Ajá, yes, no problem. I take a shower, shower at 3, 30 a.m. Teacher. Yes. Y eso de me he visto. Um, I, I get dressed. Get I dressed. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Okay. Okay. In my case, uh, I finish my... I get ready to start work from 6 3 a.m. to 10 a.m. Perdón, to 7 a.m. And I drink coffee three times every day. Uh, in my work, and I start work at 8 a.m. every day. I check my email at 8 uh, 5 a.m. I have a morning meeting at 8.30 a.m. I monitor the result draw, throughout the day. I sometimes leave work at 6 p.m. Sometimes. <laughs> It's okay. all for okay. me. Carlos? Okay, my turn. I I try to say a prayer after walking up at 4038. I show it at 435. I get dressed at 5 a.m. Breakfast at uh, 514 a.m. I leave for work at 535 a.m. I arrive. I arrive at work at 6.45 a.m. Finish. Okay, Catherine is a part of this group. Hello, Catherine. Hello, teacher. Estoy eh, conectándome. No sé. Yeah, you lost the first part of the class. But we're talking about sí. your routine in general, okay? They are describing mm. five activities as their routine before or after work in five sentences describing the routine that you do at work. That's it. Simple okay. sentence. Okay. Okay. For example, in my case, I wear up at 6 a.m. and I brush at 8 a.m. AM and the other five are uh, I arrive at home around 7 p.m. I cook my dinner uh, at 7 10 p.m. I take the dinner at 7 40 p.m. I start my English class, class at 8 p.m. I cook my lunch at 10 15 p.m. Everybody participated. No. Um, I think yes, only Rosalie. I think oh, but she's a listener. She's a listener. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now, uh, because the three of you participated already, we're going to get back. Yes? Okay. Okay, okay. so I can take your attendance, your first attendance. Here we go. Okay. Thanks for your active participation class. Okay. Very well done.
class, I'm going to call your name so I can take your first attendance. Ana Cristina Hernandez. Andre. Present teacher. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Arely Isabel. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Arely. Carlos Enrique Rivas. Present teacher. Great. Daniel Ernesto Membreño. Present. Dani. Present. Thank you, Dani. David Emanuel. David is absent today. Okay. Daisy Carolina. Absent today. Edwin Esaú. Present teacher. Thank you. Elizabeth, ay, Miss Minero. Where are you, Miss Minero? I'm calling your name and you're not here. Evelyn Jamilet. She's absent today. Yvonne Menjibar. Present. Thank you, Miss. Guillermo Eduardo. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Henry Giovanni. Present teacher. Thank you. Jennifer Beatriz. She's absent at the moment. Juan Eduardo Flores. Edward Flores. Where? I see you. And I heard like Catherine Beatriz. Present, 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 present. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you, Catherine, and thank you, Juan Eduardo Flores. Katia Maria? Absent. Maritza Elizabeth? Present. Maritza? Oh, yes, you're here. Present. Yes, yeah, thank you, Miss. Miguel Angel. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Now let's continue. Noe. Hello, good evening, I, teacher. Okay. Good evening. Thank you for joining. Oscar Eduardo Melendez. Absent today. Oscar Humberto. Yeah. Oscar Humberto Argueta. It's your first day in class. Okay. Um, Reina. Present. Thank you, Miss. Um, Yvonne, Rosalie Yvonne. Rosalie Yvonne. Second chance. Okay, absent. Sonia. Present teacher. Sonia, just in time. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Susan Carolina. Susana Carolina. Absent. Esteli, Ursula Esteli. Present teacher. Okay, thank you so much. Great. Okay, class. If you notice, the very first activity for today was to... Teacher. Uh, yes? Here I am. Ah, but you were absent when I called your name. Because Sorry, I teacher. called your name. Okay. I have, pro I have problem with my internet. Uh, yeah, and I said, David Emanuel is absent today. It's strange. No. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because I saw you at the beginning, but at the moment you were out. Thank you, teacher. Okay, thank you for joining. So, class, as I was telling you, it is a review for um, unit number two. So, let's continue. And here we go. Okay. Something similar to this is what you were doing in the breakout rooms. But the practice in the breakout rooms is really important for you to practice reading, speaking, and listening to. So, 
Now we're going to be building questions in simple present tense about your routine. Um, the purpose is to build questions to ask about your daily routine, um, tasks at work. So right now we're going to brainstorm as a class some questions to ask about your daily routine at work. Later, you are going to volunteer to say your questions to ask about your daily routine and task at work to a classmate. For example, okay, here, what time do you get to work? What do you do at work? Yes, we're going to build those questions, but you are going to dictate to me the questions or if someone wants to write the questions and share the screen, no problem, okay? Who wants to write the questions that the partners are going to dictate? Okay, general questions. It can be, okay, um, as I show you, the two ones, because those are the most common, okay? Or where do you work? Okay, tell me the questions that you are going to be asking and answering in the in the breakout rooms, but they must be in simple present tense, okay? Tell me the questions. What would you ask? What would you ask? For example, do you have break? Uh, break? Okay. Do you have breaks do you have breaks very good another one general questions okay where do you work okay another question information question And uh, what do you do, teacher? What do you do very well? What we okay, hold it. What do you do very well? Another one, somebody said another one. Okay, what is your work schedule? Okay. What's your work schedule? Very well. Okay, let's continue building the questions. These questions, you are going to work with these questions in the breakout rooms. You are going to ask and answer these questions to your partners, okay? So, another question. Where do you, do you have breaks? Where do you work? What do you do? What's your work schedule? Okay, about no your teacher. things. What month do you have your vacation? When do you have your vacations? Very well. When do you uh, have your vacations? Very well, that is a good question. Uh -huh. Another for one? E for example, teacher, uh, do you uh, enjoy your work? That's a good one. Do you enjoy your job? Okay. Number seven. Okay, we are brainstorming the questions. For example, how many personnel do you have in church? Maybe they say uh, uh, three what people. Do you have or no, I don't have. Okay, how many people do you have in church? In in charge, in charge. Maybe they say, I have nobody. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
or two people, three people, or I don't know, okay? So that's a good one. Another one. What Hello? is the environment like at your work? Excellent. What is the environment like at your work? Mm. Number nine. Okay. Another question. Okay, class, I have many people here. I have 22 people connected. What's your favorite color? No, but that is common. It must be associated to the activities at work, miss. Ah, okay. Now, maybe who is your favorite partner? Yes. Yes. I don't have any favorite partner at work, obviously. <laughs> who is your favorite partner at work, obviously, okay? Then number 10. Don't be um, shy. Reina. Um, what time? Mm -hmm. What time do you return home? Okay, what time do you do return you home? Return home okay what time do you return home very well is there another question an 11 do you have celebrations at work Yes. Another one. Yes, Catherine. Yeah. What time do you have lunch? Okay. What time do you have lunch? Good. Let's go over number 13. One more so we can complete 15. Do you have a... Uh, how do we say do you say cafeteria or restaurant in a, at work cafeteria right cafeteria yes cafeteria uh-huh at work number 14 is there probably is there a while mm, parking lot parking lot at work yes no sé si está bien what activities do you do work no do you do at work that's okay you may say that, okay? What activities do you do at, at work? work? Or what are your obligations at work? What are your tasks at work? What are your duties at work are synonym for that one? Because when we ask in number three, what do you do? 
I am a graphic designer. I am an engineer. I am an architect. I am a teacher. I am a secretary. Yes, I am a lawyer. I am a technician. I am a mechanic. Yeah, I am a dressmaker. I am a bartender and so on. That is the answer for number three. But for uh, 15, you describe the activities or obligations at work that you do. Is that okay? Okay, class, you may take a screenshot. Okay, and then we're going to be asking and answering the questions in the breakout rooms. Is that okay? It's okay. Okay, and if you, if you wish, you may share the screenshot in the WhatsApp group for the convenience of your partners. And no problem, okay? You tell me when you are ready, okay? To move to the uh, speaking thing. Shall we? Shall we continue class? Not yet. Hello class, almost finished.
Okay, right now I'm going to transfer you to the breakout room so you can practice these questions, okay? You take turns asking and answering the questions. Here we go. Hello class, shall we? Yes? I'm going to stop sharing. And I'm yes, going teacher. to transfer you, yes, okay. Hey, you don't answer. Thank you for answering. That's very gentle on your part. Okay, here. Remember speaking, everybody speaking, asking and answering. I'm going to recreate this because, okay. Let's see with four groups. Mm, too many people, maybe five. Let's see. Five, 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 five. Oh, we hear four and four. The problem is when there are three listeners and one participant that is active. Okay, I'm going to share with you the invitation right now. Begin asking and answering the questions, please. Join your groups. Hello class, here you are, Eduardo Flores, Carlos Vivas, Catherine, Beatriz, and Miguel Angel. Begin asking and answering the questions, please, because all of you are active right now, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. I ask the question, are... Sonia. Hello, Sonia. Hola. Hola, sí soy Daisy. Ah, yo le escuchaba que nadie me hablaba. Ah, you are alone. Ah, all of them are listeners. Are you going to participate, Daisy Carolina? Yes. Okay, so uh, Sonia is not going to be alone. Because imagine if she is alone, yeah, I need to move her to another group. Okay, begin asking and answering the questions, please. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. great. <laughs> begin. Ay, and Sonia was desperate. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> begin. Who is going to start asking? Okay, teach. Okay. Yo sí la escucho, Ursula. Ah, okay. Y have, uh, veo que solo nosotros dos estamos activos, los demás están de oyente. You and I, have, you and I. Okay, hold it, please. Mm, let's see, because I have a similar problem in group number two. So I'm okay. in group, actually, yes. I'm going to transfer you there, okay, Ursula? Okay. To be, because I have some other students, I have only two. Okay. Okay. And also Henry. Okay, go there. That's you need to practice. Bye. Right. Uh, class, hello. Here we have Henry Giovanni and uh, where's the other girl? I transferred two, but maybe she lost the connectivity. But Henry Giovanni wants to practice with you, okay? Okay. 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 
So you have here another participant. Ursula, but she lost the connectivity, okay? She's going to join you later on, okay? Begin practicing, please. Okay, teacher. Okay. Porque, bueno, continuamos. Ajá. Entonces, the, the, the question number one is, uh, yes, I have uh, bread, bread, per week. Uh, yes. Yes, I have. Yes, I have one break. Okay. Where do you work? Um, I work at University Matio. Okay. In my case, I I work in Almacena de Gris. Okay. Good. What, what do you do? Uh, I organize organize project about a uh, social service okay in what uh, in my case uh, it's the uh, installation of public equipment. In my case, it's the equipo de bombeo. Okay. Uh, next. Uh, what your work is? Uh, uh, I work uh, from Seven a.m. to I work from seven a.m. to four p.m. In you, uh, I from uh, seven day. Yes, we have. Is there a white parking a lot at work? Mm, teacher, I have a, a question. Yes, sir. Uh, what is the meaning of white? Narrow, wide. Okay. Amplio, amplio. Mm, yes, I have a uh, white parking at my work. What activities do you do you do at work? I answer the phone every day. Also, I read and answer emails. I sell plane tickets to the customer of Avianca. I also make uh, voluntary changes at the plane ticket of the clients of Avianca and things like that. Okay, thank you. The two of you. No, just me. No, I have what to... I no, yes, but I mean only the two of you are active because the yeah. others are not participating. Yes, that's okay. right. Okay. Okay. Now, Guillermo, it is the time for you to ask Maritza. Yes. Okay. I I have to ask uh, the uh, fifteen questions. The idea is that uh, we have to practice the simple present tense because that was the 
highlight topic of the unit. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, Maritza, uh, do you have breaks? Uh, no, I don't have break. Only lunch. Okay. Where do you work? I work in Santa Ana in the gas station. Okay. What do you do? I am an accountant assistant. Okay. What your work schedule? My schedule is from 8 a.m. to yes. 5.30 p.m. Mm, when do you have your vacations? I don't have vacation. Okay. Do you enjoy do you enjoy your your job? Yes, I like it. Okay. Um how many people do you have in charge? I don't have people in charge. Okay. What is the environment like at your work? Um, it's a good environment. Okay. Mm. Well, uh, who is your favorite partner at work? Is a partner of university. Her name is Erica. Okay. Mm, what time do you return home? I return at home at 7.30 p.m. Okay. Do you have celebration at, at work? Yes. Sometime the birthday. Okay. Uh, what time do you have lunch? I have my lunch at from 12.30 p.m. to 1.30 p.m. Okay. Uh, do you have a cafeteria at work? Yes. Yes, I you have. have. Yes. Okay. Yes, is there uh there is there a white parking lot at work? Yes, there is. What activities do you do at work? Uh, review document, review invoices. Uh, answer the phone, file documents, take copies, process information. All. Okay, teacher, can I go for a glass of water? Yes, sir. That's good. Cool. And actually, we're going to return, yes, to the main okay. session room. Thank you for your participation, guys.
very well. Here we go. Thanks so much for the ones who participated in the activity. You practice reading, listening, and speaking. Yes? Okay. Now, here we go. Look at this. Right now, class, you are going to read the following schedule at a restaurant. Okay? Read the following schedule of a restaurant manager. This is what the manager has in his hands. And write the time for each event. Okay? So, I need you to read carefully. Okay? the activities, the time, and later on, you are going to complete, okay? You're going to write here the time that each event, that each event takes place. Is that okay? Let's do it. You read them individually. At 9.30 a.m., open back kitchen door so kitchen staff can start working. 9.40 a.m. Walk around kitchen, check temperatures in all coolers and freezers. 9.50 a.m. Create schedule for servers and busers with ports, shorts, that need to be done in their shifts individually. Now I need one of you to help me reading the other three events. Who wants to read the other three events? Teacher, pero creo que no hay nada en pantalla. But I am sharing. But I am sharing. And now do you see? No. No? Yes, creo no, que. Yes. I am sharing my screen. You are you are screen sharing is the message that I see. Who don't está, you see? Está yes, está proyectando el, el manual, ¿verdad? Yes, that's it. Yes, sí. Yes, I see the monitor. For example, I see that you need to read it and start in a schedule. Yeah. Yes. And read the following schedule of a restaurant manager and write the time for each event. Okay, thank you for telling me because I was concerned. Yeah. Daisy, do you see my screen? I don't know, but I, but I can see. Are you on a phone? Mm -hmm. Está no. en un teléfono. Yes. Ah, that's why no. you need to move. You need to move because I am, okay? Mm -hmm. You need to move the phone. And then you tell us. And now, do you see it? No, ni, ni la pantalla donde... Ni donde están todos los participantes, tampoco me dan nada. Eso sucede a veces cuando se desconecta el internet, solo es de actualizarlo y a veces aparece nuevamente. Solo ah, no salir y volver, tal vez. Ok. Oh, ah, correcto, Maybe. salir y volver a incorporar. Ah, ok. Ah, Sorry. <risa> ok, let's continue. Meanwhile, we, we are going to continue, ok? So, class, I was asking for one of you to help me reading these other three events, the one at 10 a.m., 10, 10, and 10, 30. Okay, who wants to practice reading? You have to practice reading aloud. Otherwise, when are you going to practice? Don't be shy, okay? Okay. I don't. Okay, I'm going to read aloud for you. 10, 10 servers start to clock in. 10, 10 a.m. Turn on all the lights and sound system. 10, 30 a.m. Everyone 
okay? Everyone clocks out and have a quick lunch uh, along with employees and we talk about what their schedule shorts for the day. 10.50 a.m. Everyone clocks back in and start working again. 10.55 a.m. Open the front door and turn on the open sign. 11 a.m. Go to the kitchen and check temperatures of ready to eat foods and get samples to taste. From 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., greet guests, run register, maybe run some food and help a server that gets behind. At 2 p.m., clock out and go home. Assistant manager stays in charge. 4 p.m., clock in, break is over. 4, 5 p.m., check food temperatures again, as well as coolers and freezer temps. 4, 10 p.m., make a schedule for second shift servers and Bussers. Kitchen head cook handles his team. 4.30 p.m. Second shift staff start to clock in. From 5 to 9 p.m. Greet guests, talk to people, etc., etc. Don't have to run the register in the evenings. Have a part-time cashier in the clock from 5 to nine. That way I focus on more important things. 9.30 p.m. We start to do side work. I supervise everything gets done right. At 10 p.m. Turn the open sign off and lock the front door. At 10.10 10 p.m. Enter credit card tips into the CC processor. Now you read it, okay, carefully, and you write here the time that each of these six events happen according to this agenda, okay, this schedule. When you finish, please tell me so we can double check your answers.
finish the activity. No, teacher. Not yet. Okay. Thank you for answering. I appreciate that, Miss. Very well, class. You have enough time in order to write here to transfer the times that you have in here in order to identify when these events are taking place. Now we go over the next activity, which goes like this. I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms so you can compare your answers. Yes? But I need people participating. Here we go. And let's see.
Mm, let me see. I'm going to, to share with you the invitation so you compare your answers and then we'll return. Here we go. Here you are, Ursula, Esteli, Reina. No, Reina is not. And Eduardo, only two. Only two. Okay, let me see. I'm going to transfer you then to another group. Hola. Ah, Reina is available. Reina. Okay, Reina. so you are three. So you stay here because you can have more interaction. Yes? Okay. 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 Compare and later we... I think that there are some words that are new to you. Yes, there's a new vocabulary. Yes. Okay. In those activities, yeah. For example, uh, side work. It means when you have one position, but when you finish your turn, you take another turn or shift, but with other obligations and you receive mm -hmm. money. Those are not overtime or extra hours no that is um, a different job maybe in the same company or in another company mm -hmm. okay. okay teacher and um, what do you mean do inside work hello do in do inside work inside okay is there are restaurants because that is a restaurant okay in some okay. restaurants inside the facility or the building is inside work and outside is for example when it is open the space yes trabajo uh -huh. dentro de el lugar y lugar en el restaurante inside okay. and outside okay dentro okay. y fuera mm -hmm. okay thank you teacher okay M. I didn't dice. Ajá, uh -huh, I am here. Yes, Ajá, uh -huh, okay, But in English, please. Okay. Ah, English, please. No, pero verdad que sí, teacher, que uh -huh. esa actividad es, es la Which que tenemos one? que hacer. Ay. Es que yo no le entiendo un montón de palabras todavía, teacher. No, but here you have the instruction. Read the following schedule of our restaurant manager, this one, okay? And write the time for each event. Okay, here you have these events inside this, okay? This schedule. Esta, estos eventos que están acá, ¿a qué hora van a suceder? Considerando... Los tiempos que están acá y las actividades tienen que buscar estos eventos y ver a qué hora sucede. Y acá escriben la hora a la que tiene que suceder cada uno de estos eventos. Only that. Sí, eh, teacher. Uh -huh. eh, yo eso hice mientras uh -huh. estaba ahí. Por ejemplo, check temper. ¿Cómo dice? Temperatura. Temperature. Temperature. Temperature at the kitchen. What time? Like 9.40 a.m. Let me see. 9.40 in the morning. Down system. Mm -hmm. 10.10 a.m. That's it. That's correct. Okay. And my, you are going to compare. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. my, my, my schedule for the second shift. 
for 10 p.m. Yes, Open that's correct. That's it. Door. Nice city. A.M. That's correct. Do inside work. Nine city p.m. It tour on the open scene. Sign p.m. The open sign, okay? You see the open sign, open uh, and closed. That is the okay, open sign. Okay, okay. Okay, you the did open it correctly. Sign. Uh -huh. Excellent. That's it. Y, y yo tengo problemas también que no sé qué le hice a la computadora. Cuando le conecto los audífonos, no me funciona para hablar. Pero cuando me la desconecto, como está lloviendo, casi no escucha. Entonces hay cosas que ah. no las entiendo. Hasta okay. el lunes que me la revisen en la office. No, but you did it correctly. Congratulations. Yeah. And here you have Mr. Guillermo Eduardo. I think that he is active. He is available. And also Noé and Miguel Ángel. Yeah. So you did it. That was the activity. Okay. Okay, teacher. No, you did it great. Thank you. I'll be back. And here, class, did you finish? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Did you compare? Yes. Yes. Did you have the same answers? Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay, perfect. So you did it. Listen, I know that there are new words in there, but that is, okay, you have to learn new vocabulary every day yes yes in order to communicate you need to have new vocabulary a lot of vocabulary because people stop when they don't know the word they stop talking yes that's why we need to learn new vocabulary okay so don't feel like ah, a little lost because a lot of vocabulary and a lot of information. No, it is part of, okay? You don't have to learn everything at once. No tiene que aprendérselo todo de una vez, but you need to get used to, pero tiene que irse acostumbrando, okay? To the new vocabulary. Yes, it's Because next level is not easier. It's not bad. It is for work. Yes? Es más avanzadito, más avanzadito y más avanzadito, ¿ok? okay. So don't feel discouraged. No se sientan ahí como desanimados, no. Not at all, ¿ok? So give me 10 seconds. Okay. While I monitor, let's see. Oh, I have monitored all of you. So let's get back to the main session room then. ¿Ok? Here, here, and here. Okay, very well, class. Here we go. Now it is time to standardize our answers. I know that there is a lot of new vocabulary over here, okay? And some words that you are not used to because you know them in a different way, yeah? But we're going to, for example, servers start to clock in. Do you know the meaning of clock in? Clocking stands for what 
you know as check-in. Yes? Check-in. Clock in stands for check-in. And there's another one, for example, here. Okay, these ones I'm going to. Okay. Let me see if I can do it. Okay. Servers and busters. Do you know the meaning of busters? It's okay. We have servers. You know them as waiters or waitress. Yes. Busters are the people who help the servers. Los asistentes de los camareros o meseros. Yes. Those are busters. Mm -hmm. And then there is another one that is kind of um, here. To do side work. Hey, side work. It is when you have another job, another job position, maybe in the same company or in another one, in another company. Yes? but you receive a different salary. It is not overtime. It is not extra hours. No, it is a different job. Here we say at 9.30 p.m., we start to do side work because the manager says, I supervise everything gets done right. So he is not the manager anymore. He is the supervisor at that moment. So we start to do side work, okay? And now, class, here we go. We're going to um, standardize the answers. Let's analyze. What time do they, does he check temperature at the kitchen? What time? Check temperature at the kitchen. Is it in the morning? In the evening or at night? Here it's you are. Three moments. Okay. So. Nine thirty-four. Okay. Eleven. And okay. 40, nine. Forty. Nine forty a.m. Yes. Okay. Another time. Eleven. At eleven. A.M., correct? And? 45. 45. 4, 5. Okay, 4, 5. At the end, 4, 5. P.M. Okay, and that's it. Thank you. Now, the next one. Turn on the lights and sound system. What time does this event take place according to this information? Turn on the lights. Ten past ten. Okay. At 10 past 10 a.m. or at 10.10. 10. The two are correct. Next one, make the schedule for the second shift. What time does this event take place? Make the schedule for the second shift. Four. At 4.30 p.m., yes? Thank you for 30 p.m. Great. Uy, uy. Okay. 10 past 4, teacher. 10 past 10. 4. Okay, let me see. Ah, make the schedule four for the ten. second shift. 4, uh, ten, four ten. 10 p.m. Thank you. I heard 4.30. 4, ten. Four ten. PM, that's correct. Very well. Now, what time uh, does this event take place? Open the back kitchen door. 
open the back kitchen door. Nine thirty a.m. Uh huh. Yes, the first activity. Yeah, nine thirty a.m. That event takes place at nine thirty a.m. Correct. Very well. Do the inside work. What time do they do the inside work? Nine thirty p.m. Mm. That is the side. Do we have another one that is inside? Because to do side work is different to do inside. Trabajo interno inside. And do side work is otro trabajo. So do we have another activity that takes place inside? Or is it a mistake in the sentence? Probably it is a mistake, right? Uh, yes, I think it's a mistake. Because, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, because it has to do, uh, to I, do side I, work, yeah? I couldn't find side work. Uh -huh. Yes. So we say at 9, 30 p.m. Correctly, correct. And turn on the open sign. Open, the open sign. What time do they do that? At? It has to be in the morning, I think. Yes, in the morning. Uh-huh. The exact time? 10.50. Yes. Open the front door and turn on the open sign. Yeah, at 10.55, this one. So we write 10.55 a.m. So here, class, you were practicing the time the clock, vocabulary, yes, and also, what else? Grammar and pronunciation. And now let's continue. Here, this is a piece of cake for you. You are going to complete the sentences with the simple present form of the verbs in parentheses. Let's see. Let's do together number one. Jeff worked from 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. The answer should be Jeff works. Work or works? Work. We works. write it works with S because it is in simple present tense. Third person singular, you need to add the S to most of the verbs. Is that okay? But you know that, so please go yes. over that. And when you finish, you tell me, please, okay? okay. And then yes. we're going to double check just to make sure. Okay, go for it. While you are doing that, I'm going to call your names in order to take your second attendance. So here we go. I'm going to stop sharing so I can see and it can be recorded. Ana Cristina. Andre, is Andre here? Yes, teacher, here. Yeah, okay. Araceli, Areli, Isabel, so, uy, yes, Areli, yes, Areli was active today. Carlos Enrique. Present teacher. Thank you. 
Daniel Ernesto. Present. Membreño. Thank you. Present. David Emanuel, are you here? Yes or not? No, he's not. Daisy Carolina. Present teacher. Okay, Daisy, did you solve the problem? Resolvió el problema? De la yes. Okay, great. Mm. Miss Minero was absent today. Evelyn Jamilet, absent today. Yvonne Menjibar, Guillermo Eduardo, absent. Present teacher. Okay, you're here. Henry Giovanni, Giovanni. Present teacher. Thank you. Jennifer Beatriz, absent today. Juan Eduardo Flores. Juan Eduardo Flores. Bien, ok, thank you, Present. Juan Eduardo. Thank you. Catherine Beatriz. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Catherine. Pero le voy a apagar el micrófono y le voy a apagar la, la bocina. Katia María. Katia. Absent today. Maritza Elizabeth. Pero me vas a contestar en el teléfono. Maritza. En el teléfono me vas a contestar. ¿Para qué? Para grabar. Ok. Maritza, where are you? Absent, Maritza. Miguel Ángel. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Noé. Present teacher. I see you. The camera sees you. Oscar Eduardo Meléndez Martínez. Absent. Okay. Oscar Eduardo. Oscar Humberto. Present teacher. Thank you. Reina. Where are you, Reina? Present. Okay, you're here. Yvonne, Rosalie Yvonne, absent today. Sonia, where are you, Sonia? Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Susana Carolina? Susan? Ursula? Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Okay, class, tell me, did you finish with yes, the simple teacher. present tense? A piece of cake for you, yes? yes. Teacher, I am here. Really? I I, I thought that you were absent with the with the with the speaker and with the phone. Okay. I... <laughs> no problem, teacher, David. You. Okay, your voice is there. Thank you. Okay. So class, here we go. Let's see. We said Jeff works from 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. Number two, Jane and Pete, the missing word is? Cleans. Okay, yeah. cleans or clean? Clean. Clean, clean, sorry. Yeah, okay, clean. Because we have a compound subject. Two people, compound subject. Jane and Pete clean the tables every day. Mark, it is negative, not take orders on Wednesdays. So we write Mark. That's them take. Excellent. That's it. Because we don't have the verb to be. In simple present tense, when we don't have the verb to be, we use the modal auxiliary, do or does. In this case, it's negative. That is why we write doesn't, and the verb doesn't suffer any change. Okay, because we have the modal auxiliary, and then we say doesn't take. Mark doesn't take orders on Wednesdays. Wednesdays. Number four, our restaurant. 
from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. Open. It's the, the same. How come, Miss? Open. How says so, Miss? Open. Open. No. Because it is our restaurant. How many restaurants do we have? Only one. Uh huh. That is why we say opens. Okay. Opens like that. Yes. Because if you, okay, here, if we eliminate our restaurant, you replace it by a subject pronoun, the subject pronoun should be it. Yes, because we're talking only about one thing, one place, our restaurant, nuestro restaurante, only one. Now, number five, our boss, negative, affirmative. Hello? The verb is spent. The same. Uh -huh. Spend. Spend. Excellent. Spends because it is a person singular. Yes. Spends much time in the restaurant. We, negative, not close on Sundays. We is plural. The subject plural. We. You and me. All of you and me. We, blah, blah, on Sundays. Uh we, we, don't, not. we don't close. We don't close because it no. is plural. Mm -hmm. We don't close on Sundays. Yes? You see, that is why we were practicing the simple present today. They, plural, to have more clients this week. It is affirmative, the sentence. So we write. What do we write? The verb is expect. It expects. They? Say it again, please, because I didn't listen clearly. Say it, say it. Don't be shy. Don't be afraid. We are learning. We are reviewing. Estamos repasando. That is the objective, okay? It's is plural. It, it, expects. Listen. The subject is plural, but in English, when the subject is plural, we don't add an S. We write expect. 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 Yeah, expect. Why? Because it is not the same as in uh, Spanish. Remember that we add is to the verbs when this in simple present, when affirmative, when the verb, uh, when the subject is a third person singular, not for plural. The plural is in the subject. For example, Jane and Pete, plural to people. Uh, we, plural, all of you and me means we. They, many people, but you and me, we are not included, they. But the verb in plural doesn't suffer any change. It is written in the base form, okay? And now you are going to write sentences. Teacher, yes? Teacher, what, is the, what is the difference verbo to be and verb auxiliar does? Until... Okay, both of them are modal auxiliaries. Yes, I'm going to write it in, the, in my screen, my whiteboard here. Okay, it is loading. That is a good question. Okay, and here, notice that the verb to be and uh, do is. To be is a modal auxiliary and do is a modal auxiliary in this case. But we use both in simple present tense. When we don't see the, moda, the verb to be in a sentence in simple present tense, you use do or does. 
Yes? I'm going to switch into Spanish to clarify that. Los dos tienen la función del, de ser verbos auxiliares modales. En presente simple, cuando usted no ve el verbo to be, is, am, um, are, en la oración, tiene que usar do o does. Remember that we use do for the pronouns I, you, we, they. The verb do ends in O. El verbo do termina en O. ¿Qué pasa con los verbos en presente simple que terminan en O? Y lo usamos con he, she, it. ¿Cuál es el cambio que sufre? Do you remember? What do we add? ¿Qué le agregamos? Es, le agregamos es. So, the verb do, you add es in order to be used with he, she, it. And that's it. But when you see, okay, the verb to be, you don't use neither do nor does. An example, I am your sister. I am your sister. The verb to be is am. Now let's change this sentence into question. Cambiemos esta oración a pregunta. Am I your sister? Am I your sister? And here is what I was telling you. Como tenemos el verbo to be, no tenemos que usar do ni das. No vamos a decir, do I your sister? No, because we have the verb to be. That besides being a main verb, it works as a modal auxiliary too. A pesar de ser un verbo simple, también funciona como modal auxiliary. Is that okay? Yes? <clears throat> but, Let's analyze another sentence without the verb to be. Mm. It is uh, they take classes at night, for example. Ellos toman clases por la noche. Now let's change this sentence into question. Do you see the verb to be in that sentence? Observan el verbo to be en esa oración. Yes or no? No, teacher. No. Ok. No. Como no tenemos el verbo to be, tenemos que usar el auxiliar para presente simple. Vamos a usar do o das. Do. Do. do because it is plural. And then you build the question. Do they? Yes. Do they take classes at night? Yes? Yes. Now with he or she, let's imagine this. She is um, a good student. Now let's change this sentence into question. Is she a good student? Excellent, very well. Is she a good student? Because we don't have we have the verb to be. But another one. Hmm. The food tastes good. To tell you an example. Now let's change this sentence into a question. The food is singular. Does food. Does the food or does it? Does the food taste good. good, but notice that here we don't add letter S to the verb because we are using the modal auxiliary. Fíjense que acá no le agregamos la S al verbo porque ya estamos usando este verbo auxiliar, ¿de acuerdo? Sí, entonces el verbo va en su base natural. Yes. 
But when you answer, in this case, it changes because you say yes, the food in full answer. Yes, the food tastes good. Why? Because we don't have the verb to be and we don't have any modal auxiliary. En esta oración afirmativa le agregas S, ¿por qué? Porque no lleva ningún verbo auxiliar, ni el verbo to be. Por lo tanto, el verbo debe ser agregado con una S. ¿Es that okay? Yes. Ok. Now let's put that into practice. Yes. And here we go. Let's continue. Because we are about to finish. But here we have to write sentences using the words in parentheses. Pick up always tables. You can use any uh, subject pronoun. Yes? Let's build this uh, sentence in third person singular. For example, she. Let's imagine that the subject is she. So we say she. The verb is? I don't see the verbs. But you have she it does. in your manual. <laughs> she? She does. No, because you she have does. it. It is a simple sentence. She? she? Uh, okay, she. She, she but you have the, moda, the, the, the frequency word. She always picks. Okay, great, excellent. Picks up the tables, yes? The tables. And that's it. Okay, and now change seldom menu. Let's build the sentence using he. So we say he, now the frequency word, he seldom, the verb is? Change. The person singular? Changes. Excellent. Changes. He seldom changes uh, many. Yeah, many. Many. Okay, very well. That is why we were practicing since the very beginning the things. Now, hire rarely new employees. Let's say now in plural, they for example they now the frequency word is rarely. They rarely, rarely. the verb is hire contratar, yes? They rarely Hire. Hire new employees. Yes. <clears throat> and that's it. Now, sometimes close early. Mm, let's use the pronoun we. So you can have a variety. We, which is the frequency word? Sometimes. We sometimes, sometimes. sometimes. the Ooh. verb close very well early. We sometimes close early. Now here, give away hardly ever promotional items. Affirmative using, um, because it is a company, let's use we. Okay. We, we they ever. excellent. We hardly ever. The verb gives away. Give away promotional items. items. Okay, items. excellent promotional items. We hardly ever give away promotional items. And number six, close never on Mondays. Yeah. 
Let's pronoun using. Nah, let's use they. They. Era. Plus. Okay, they never. The pronoun is plural. So you plural. use close. They never close. On, the on Mondays. On Mondays. And that's it. And remember that. If you don't see a period in there, you need to write a full stop or a period. Otherwise, the platform is going to take it as a mistake. Yeah. So these are some examples. And that is why we were using the simple present tense. Okay. Today. And now I'm going to ask Miss Daisy Carolina, please stay with me. Uh, after class, if you are so nice, I'm so sorry, but I we're going to review this because you have problems with your cell phone, okay? May I stop sharing class? Yes? Yes. yes. Okay, because it is time for you to go to bed, to go to sleep. But the last time I'm going to take a picture for the people who were here. And if Instaform wants to monitor your attendance, they are going to see your beautiful faces and your nice smiles. Okay. To the count of three, here we go. One, two, three. Thank you so very much for the ones who activated the camera. Thanks a lot, Edwin. One, two, three. Say yes. Excellent. Great. Now I'm going to share your beautiful faces. Hi. Right now over here. I think class that some of you still have a kind of situation with the plural and with the third person singular, but we're going to talk about that tomorrow. Okay. By now, go relax, sleep. Because tomorrow you have to wake up early. Bye bye. Don't forget to work on the platform. Blessings. Bye. Thanks for joining. Bye bye. All right. See have you a good tomorrow. night. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. 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 Yes. Yo dije presente, pero no me escuchó. No no me pasó lista a mí. No, cómo no. La segunda. Ah no. Permítame. Edwin Esaú. Sí, yo lo tengo registrado que sí. Ay, mire, se fue esta niña, quizás perdió la conexión. Edwin Esaú, yes, I have it in here. Entonces voy a tener que sacrificar a don Edwin Esaú. Ok, Esaú, hagamos una práctica que usted no se ha quedado conmigo. Y así ya queda liberado. Ok. Stay with me because of that. Bye bye, Maritza. Okay, Edwin Esau. We're going to practice the simple present tense, okay? Y aquí pregúnteme todo lo que quiera del presente simple, ¿sí? Okay? Bye. Nos vamos a quedar un ratito. Entonces, vea, algunos de sus compañeros yo veo que están confundidos y le voy a compartir esto, okay? Con eh, la conjugación de los verbos en tercera persona de singular y cuando es plural, ¿sí? ¿Por qué? La confusión viene porque lo transfieren directamente de español a inglés y así lo quieren transferir de inglés a español. Porque nosotros, ¿verdad? Eh, podemos decir, eh, le voy a poner unos ejemplos acá para que comprendamos mejorcito. ¿Ok? Vamos a borrar esto que está por acá. Y aquí vamos. Entonces, digamos, las flores son bonitas. ¿Sí? Aquí el sujeto es las flores. Es plural. Son es plural. Bonitas es el adjetivo plural. ¿Sí? Uh -huh. Y muchos de ustedes quieren transferirlo literalmente de español a inglés. Pero, ¿cómo quedaría esta oración en inglés? The flowers are pretty or beautiful. Y no le agregamos la S, porque es un uh -huh. adjetivo, ¿sí? 
Entonces sí, pero... decimos, flowers are, en este caso sabemos que are es plural, pero ¿qué sucede cuando el verbo no es el verbo to be? Y decimos, uh, las flores, mm. no, let's see, yo compro, yo compro flores en la mañana. Ok. Let's translate this sentence into English. I buy flowers in the morning. Yes, in the morning. Y si el sujeto es él, él compra flores en la mañana. Ok. Él compra flores en la mañana. ¿Sería el sujeto? He. Yes. yes. Compra flores. Él compra flores. He. El verbo, ¿cuál sería? Bye. Este es el verbo normal, ¿verdad? La base mm. del verbo. Pero como el sujeto es he, tercera persona de singular, le vamos a agregar s, ¿sí? He buys flowers in the morning. ¿Está ok? okay. Pero, ¿qué pasa cuando decimos ellos compran flores en la mañana? They... Buy. buy flowers in the morning. Sí, ellos compran flores en la mañana. Acá lo que tenemos que considerar es el sujeto de la oración en afirmativo presente simple para ver si el verbo va a sufrir algún cambio o no. Porque si el sujeto de la oración no es third person singular, he, she, or it, no sí, tiene por qué sufrir cambio, ¿de acuerdo? Sí, sí, correcto. Ok, muy bien. Ahora, en cuanto a do and does, I'm going to erase this. When we say, uh, for example, your child is with you Right now, for example, ¿ya? Su bebé está con usted en este momento. Your child is with you right now. Yes. Child es singular, solo a un niño, escucho yo, su niño, ¿ok? Is, porque es tercera persona de singular. Ahora bien, si decimos, imaginémonos que usted tiene tres o cuatro niños. Y yo le digo, your children are with you right now. Is that okay? Child is singular, only one. Children is plural, two or more. Then the verb to be changes from is to are. Yes? Yes. Now, another example. Hmm. Then let me see. The secretary works. We lower letter works only in the morning. Yes, no problem. We add the letter S to the verb. Because it is affirmative the sentence, simple present tense, and the subject is the secretary, singular. Yes? Perfect. But if we talk about plural, then we say the secretary's work only in the morning. Yes? If I change this sentence into negative, I say, 
the secretaries don't work in the morning because it is plural. Las secretarias no trabajan. And then I add don't okay. because it is plural. Notice here, don't. And the no. verb, no es in the verb because we have the modal auxiliary. Y como llevamos este modal auxiliary en negativo, el verbo no sufre cambio, sino en su base natural. ¿Sí? ¿Estamos claros hasta ahí? Yes, yes. Okay. So I hope that I have helped you, okay? With this information. ¿Está ok? Espero haberle ayudado con esta información. Ok. Sí, Edward. es un poco confuso, pero con, con la, estarlo practicando, pues ahí se le va a quedar. Mm -hmm. Yes. But whenever you have a, a doubt like that, let me know because I'm going to go deeper into the explanation like I did today. Cuando tengan dudas, sí, eh, pregunten. Porque no solo usted puede tener la duda, sino muchos, ¿verdad? Y voy a ir un poquito más profundo así como lo hice ahora, ¿de acuerdo? Ya. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so very much for your time. Have a good night. Enjoy your baby and see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye bye. Take care. Bye bye. Blessings. Bye. Have a good night.